it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best VR games of all time. That should help you out. Even an idiot could figure this one out. For this list, we're looking at games that best showed off the potential of virtual reality games, whether it was because of their technical prowess, creativity, or just by being fun to play. We're only counting games designed specifically for VR, so we won't be considering games with optional VR modes. Which VR game is your favorite? Be sure to share with us in the comments below. Number 10, Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality. Oh, good, you found the watch. You're not as dumb as I thought. Okay, use that to call me back once you get the lay of the land. This may not have been the show's first foray into the world of video games, but Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality is certainly the best so far. As a Morty clone, your job is to take care of Rick's more benign tasks while the two head off on their adventures. I'm gonna need you to order me another one of these things, Clone Morty. Head over to the, my workbench and um, I'll activate my computer remotely using my remote uh, device. In addition to a variety of props and tools for you to mess around with, there's also a handful of puzzles for you to solve. Fans will appreciate the many references to the show, as well as the property's trademark humor, which we've all come to expect. Oh boy, oh boy, look at you. Give yourself a round of applause. You, uh, you put the crystal in the slot. Good work. Number 9, Shooty Fruity. That was a crack shot. Ever felt like retail could be a bit more lively? Well, it doesn't get livelier than this. Shooty Fruity turns players into minimum wage warriors forced to defend their workstation from hostile fruits while scanning groceries, sorting trays, and packaging orders. That is an X fruit. The better you are at your job, the more weapons you'll have access to, and you may even snag a couple of power-ups along the way. Of course, this is all easier said than done when there's wave after wave of fruit bearing down on you. If you hope to survive stronger fruits like peaches and watermelons, you'll have to work fast. Employees, I am pleased to announce that the day is halfway through. Number 8, Vader Immortal, a Star Wars VR series. Oh, look at that. Remember the Vinta Harvest Classic? I know I do. As we inch closer and closer to making games more fully immersive, more real do our dreams of being a Jedi become. If you've ever wanted to hold a lightsaber, you may find a new hope in Vader Immortal. After being captured by the Empire, you're taken to the planet Mustafar, where you meet the titular villain, who is significantly more intimidating in VR. Throughout this three-episode adventure, you'll learn the ways of the Force while observing Vader's attempts to cope with his past. It's an amazing Star Wars title, and it's a game that shows how games can still tell an exciting cinematic narrative in VR. And you believe the final component of the Eon engine is within your grasp? I have no doubt. Number 7. Five Nights at Freddy's – Help Wanted The animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, so just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Say what you will about the Five Nights at Freddy's series, but the franchise has never been more terrifying than this. Help Wanted is essentially every game in one VR package, with some extra challenges that take advantage of the VR's capabilities. On top of checking security cameras and keeping the animatronics at bay, there are modes where you'll have to get up close and personal with them as you repair vents or even the animatronics themselves. It's so frightening that we're sweating just from the thought of booting the game up again. <laughs> Number 6. Blood and Truth <laughs> Ever wanted to live out your own action movie? That dream can become a reality, or at least a virtual reality, thanks to Blood and Truth, a PSVR exclusive that puts you in the role of Ryan Marks. After a run-in with crime boss Tony Sharp, you and your family exact revenge by taking down Tony's henchmen and operations. As you track down the crime lord, you'll have to sneak past guards, break into rooms, and survive shootouts. Oh, and make sure you look cool while doing it. 
this game gives you plenty of opportunities to play the badass. Number 5. Super Hot VR. If you want a VR shooter with a little more challenge and one that'll keep you active in the process, then Super Hot VR is a great choice. Much like the first non-VR game in the series, this indie shooter pits you against waves of red polygonal figures with everything moving in slow motion. The faster you move, the faster the game moves, so you'll have to remain vigilant and aware of your surroundings as you dodge bullets and fire back. Trust us, it's a lot harder than it sounds. Super hot. Number four, keep talking and nobody explodes. Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes is that perfect game for those who enjoy complex puzzles and yelling at their friends for their poor communication skills. One player wears the headset, acting as the diffuser, while the other players, or experts, consult a manual filled with instructions for every puzzle. As expected, you only have a short amount of time to solve every puzzle on the bomb before it explodes. Needless to say, this is another one of those games that will test your patience as well as your friendships. Just remember to read carefully before telling the diffuser what to do. Number 3. Astrobot Rescue Mission Despite the other entries here, not all VR games are shooters and puzzles. They can still be regular video games with lighter aspects of VR, and that's what makes Astro Bot Rescue Mission such a spectacular title. Teaming up with Captain Astro, you'll have to help him navigate through levels while trying to rescue adorable little robots. There's eight in every level, and if you're going to nab them all, you need to interact with the environment, whether that's by peeking around corners or smashing your head into obstacles. It's a wonderful title that's brimming with personality, and if you have a PSVR, you absolutely need this game. Number 2. Half-Life Alex. With the exception of Blood and Truth, this might very well be the first AAA VR game, or at least the first time a large gaming company put out something this high caliber for VR. Taking place before the events of Half-Life 2, Alex puts characters in control of the titular Alex Vance as she takes on the Combine alongside her father. For a VR title, the visuals are incredibly impressive, and it's bewildering to see it running at a consistent 60 frames per second. There's no denying that Half-Life Alex is a technical achievement, and while it isn't Half-Life 3, it's still an exceptional new entry in the franchise. I could offer you something you don't know you want. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Marvel's Iron Man VR. It's basically a Tony Stark simulator, and it's awesome. So you got a name, or should I just call you Ghost? Moss. You control a cute mouse in a beautiful world. When all the paths are overgrown. Star Trek Bridge Crew. Command your own USS Enterprise with friends. Shields up to 100%, Captain. Fire phases now, Captain. L.A. Noir, The VR Case Files. You too can be an LAPD detective in the 1940s. But she went out and I went out after her. She jumped in a car on the corner. Batman Arkham VR. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Brave Tyken! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. 
you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Beat Saber We haven't seen a music game this incredible since Dance Dance Revolution. Even so, we're not sure there's ever been a game quite like Beat Saber. This rhythm and dancing game has players slicing and dicing cubes, but it isn't that simple. You'll have to slice them in specific directions, most of the time anyway, while avoiding other obstacles and matching the cubes with the correct sword color. It's challenging, thrilling, and the game's captivating tunes will continue to play on your brain well after removing the headset. Regardless of if you think you can dance or not, Beat Saber is one hell of an infectious jam. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.